Space is continually offering up new mysteries for scientists and astronomers to unpack and attempt to solve. And although it often seems as though many of these mysteries are unsolvable, every day we get closer to understanding more and more about the infinite vastness that stretches out beyond our own planet Earth. Whether it is strange phenomena in our own galaxy or mystifying occurrences hundreds upon hundreds of light years away, scientists have set out to uncover as much as they possibly can about the cosmic world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the final frontier. Unknown Object Observed Close to the Black Hole In a comparison between the ocean and space, they say we know more of space than we know of the ocean. Although there still exists a gargantuan cloud of mystery that looms over it and the surprise discoveries keep on coming. As recently as 2021, scientists and astronomers alike have been baffled by a new discovery. Pointing at the centre of a black hole in the galactic atmosphere of space, an unknown and mysterious structure has been sighted. It is estimated to measure approximately 2.3 light-years in length, and it takes on a snake-like shape. From the images that have captured it, it appears like a strand of thread, although most certainly much, much larger than one and has a rosy, fiery red colour, similar to the black hole it seems to be embedded around. So what is it? That is the crazy part. Scientists do not know. Black holes in and of themselves have a lot of mystery surrounding them, so this new discovery just adds to that element of mystery. Scientists have compiled a set of possible theories as an explanation as to what the strange snake-like filament pointing at the black hole could possibly be. One such possibility is that it could be the aftermath of particles ricocheting as a result of the commotion within the black hole. This theorizes that the speedy whirling motions of the black hole, as well as the gases within, may, as a result, conjure up some sort of vertical magnetic field. The second theory that scientists have conjured up is the possibility of the age-old mystery that are cosmic strings. Could the curved, thread-like structure be a cosmic string? So, what is a cosmic string? First off, a little disclaimer is that it is not even confirmed that they do in fact exist. However, playing along the prospect that they are indeed among the millions of factions that make up space, cosmic strings are said to be essentially the fractures of the universe. Fractures, cracks or indiscrepancies, whatever you want to call it. The cosmic strings theory is in correlation to the infamous Big Bang theory and is theorised to primarily point back to the times of the birth and origins of the universe. Along those lines, it is believed that at one point in time everything in the universe was one before expanding and disintegrating into other individual parts. As a result of all of those reactions and forces taking place during the expansion and fragmentation processes, Cosmologists propose that perhaps the cosmos cooled at a pace too fast that led to time essentially being fractured, hence leading to the immersion of energy-filled tube-like structures that spanned the length of the universe, or in simpler terms, cosmic strings. Since there has not been much solid confirmation to validate the claims of the existence of such structures in the universe, it is hard to say whether what was identified pointing towards the black hole is in fact a remnant of said cosmic strings. But the potential prospect of it has left scientists excited that this may be a breakthrough into possibly validating their existence. Not only would it be exciting for cosmologists, astronomers and scientists alike, but also for anyone intrigued by or fantasizing about the prospects of time travel. If they do exist, Cosmic strings are theorized to harness the potential for time travel, thanks to their resilience and gravitational pull. The last possibility that scientists have proposed may come off as rather bland and unexciting, as it proposes that the strange filament may be matched to millions of others found across the span of space, and that the fact that it is pointing at a black hole is purely coincidental. However, Scientists do scratch their heads in doubt at this notion, as the possibility of such a coincidence comes off a bit far-fetched. They find it unlikely that it would just be there simply by chance.
mystery gas discovered at the centre of the Milky Way. Our galaxy is much bigger than we often picture it to be, but marvels like this help put into perspective the vast wonders of space. In 2020, a dense, cold gas was discovered to have been shot from the centre of the Milky Way and was described as being like bullets. Although it is still unknown how this gas was fired, we do know that this discovery has the potential to have a significant impact upon the future of the Milky Way. Professor Naomi McClure-Griffiths from the Australian National University explained that the loss of so much gas results in a loss of material that has the potential to form stars. If too much of this gas is lost, then the galaxy becomes incapable of forming new stars. McClure-Griffiths stated that, to be able to see hints of the Milky Way losing this star-forming gas is kind of exciting. It makes you wonder what's going to happen next. Did this wonder happen due to the black hole at the centre of our galaxy? Or the star formations around it? Whilst those are both possibilities, scientists and researchers currently do not know how either one of these could produce this effect. Dr. Enrico Di Teodoro from John Hopkins University described that it gets more complicated the more we learn about it. Explaining events like this have been observed from afar in other galaxies. Though there, the black holes observed were significantly larger and star formations saw higher levels of activity. Our own galaxy being much smaller and closer means that we can study events in more detail, but such exciting phenomena are much rarer so close to home. With such exciting discoveries happening right in our very own galaxy, it really is a true reminder of how little we know about the universe. GJ504b In 2011, scientists made an extraordinary discovery when they discovered GJ504b, also known as Gliese 504b, a planet that is still glowing from the heat of its formation. Scientists estimate that this bright pink-coloured planet is located at a distance of about 57 light-years from Earth. This exoplanet orbits a sun-like star named 59 Virginis, located in the Virgo constellation. This star is visible in the sky during nighttime and it can be easily seen with the naked eye. Chances are that you have already seen this star up in the sky, amongst the thousands of other visible stars. Scientists estimate that the planet GJ504b is about four times bigger than Jupiter and the solar system it is located in is approximately 100 to 200 million years old. This is a remarkably young age when compared to other solar systems in the universe. Our solar system is estimated to be about 4.571 billion years old. The close observation of the newly formed GJ504b planet has given astronomers new insights into the development process of planets. Astronomers believe that this planet is still undergoing changes at a very rapid pace. According to one NASA scientist, if we could travel to this giant planet, all we would see is a world brightly glowing from the heat of its formation. Fomalhaut b turns to dust. One second it's there, and then poof, it's gone. Fomalhaut b, or more formally known as Dagon, is a widely debated candidate exoplanet orbiting the A-type star, Fomalhaut. What makes this so interesting is that it is hard to tell what this thing really is. The true nature of Fomalhaut is somewhat of a mystery. It was initially defined as one of the first exoplanets to be directly imaged. It has subsequently been described as a low-mass planet whose surrounding dust cloud is entirely responsible for its detection or debris from a collision of asteroids instead. The initial discovery was made by Hubble in 2005 that saw observations published discussed the structure of Fomalhaut's massive debris belt. But more recently, the headlines don't read Exoplanet Discovery, but instead, Exoplanet apparently disappears in latest Hubble observations. Astronomers found themselves in a bizarre predicament where the planet they were studying completely disappeared while they were studying it. The planet was last seen orbiting the star Fomalhaut just 25 light-years away. HubbleSite.org says that a team of researchers from the University of Arizona believe a full-grown planet never existed in the first place. Instead, 
they concluded that the Hubble Space Telescope was looking at an expanding cloud of very fine dust particles from two icy bodies that smashed into each other. Hubble came along too late to witness the suspected collision, but may have captured its aftermath. In 2008, the dot that they thought was a planet had seemingly disappeared from sight. By 2014, the dot was completely gone, no dust or anything to even suggest it might have been there. The conclusion between scientists seems to be that this is caused by the planet actually being inside an icy ring encircling the star. However, the so-called planet at this point is simply an expanding debris cloud itself. Space is a mysterious place, and something new is being examined or discovered every day, but this vast unknown will always be somewhat of an unexplained mystery. Four eight six nine five eight Arakoth. Four eight six nine five eight Arakoth is the most distant object ever explored, and is also known as 2014 MU69 by its original destination. It was discovered on the 26th of June, 2014. In the Algonquian language, Arakoth means sky. New Horizons principal investigator Alan Stern claimed the name Arakoth reflects the inspiration of looking to the skies and wondering about the stars and worlds beyond our own. It is situated in the Kuiper Belt, which is relatively similar to an asteroid belt, but much larger in size. Many objects wavering within the Kuiper Belt are well preserved and frozen, similar to a time capsule, giving us an inside look on what the outer solar system was like after its initial conception. These small objects within the Kuiper Belt have been mostly unchanged for over 4 billion years. The Kuiper Belt is known as the solar system's third zone. Arakoth is also a trans-Neptunian object. Trans-Neptunian objects are dwarf or minor-sized planets in our solar system that are at a greater distance than Neptune. Arakoth checks in at 4 billion years old. It was discovered by Mark Buey, using the Hubble Space Telescope. The observation was conducted by NASA's New Horizons science team. Mark Buey announced data from Arakoth has given us an indication about the formation of planets and our cosmic origins. We believe this ancient body, composed of two distinct lobes that merged into one entity, may harbour answers that contribute to our understanding of the origin of life on Earth. Arakoth has a red tint that is actually more red than Pluto, making it the reddest outer solar system object discovered to date. Arakoth's amorphous shape is described by NASA as a snowman that's been partially flattened. It is two objects merged into one and is about 35 kilometers long, 20 kilometers wide, and 10 kilometers thick. Arakoth is the furthest object that has been explored by humans. It was identified when the probe was 6.4 billion kilometers from Earth, and it is an estimated 6.6 .6 billion kilometers away from Earth. It takes Arakoth around 293 years to orbit the Sun once. Arakoth could give scientists answers that they have been searching decades for. There are two situations scientists have debated concerning planetary formation. The first scenario is hierarchical accretion, where small grains and pebbles bounce around, occasionally hitting into each other with enough force to stick, making bigger and bigger objects. Eventually, over the course of millions of years, these planets would have compiled matter from random, forceful collisions. The second scenario is cloud collapse, where certain regions of the nebula had a higher density of particles and these clumps were drawn towards each other until they spontaneously gravitationally collapsed. Unlike the forceful nature of hierarchical accretion collisions, cloud collapse collisions were leading to the planets being born. Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator of the New Horizons team, said the imagery shows no signs of violence, no fractures. The two lobes don't look smashed together leaving room to certify the cloud collapse theory. The discovery of Arakoth has led to a possible revolutionary breakthrough. A planetary scientist at Washington University in St. Louis explained, It tells us some profound truths about our solar system. It's a remarkable world that's told us a remarkable story. The information exposed left the New Horizons team confused, debating if Arakoth was more significant than the probe's first encounter with Pluto in 2015. 
It will be exciting to see where the discovery of 486958 Arakoth will take us, and how it will help us understand the astonishing complexity and inner workings of outer space. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.